Yeah, I'm not doing well. I need this to work out. I have nothing. Yeah, we've got a guy with a hat on at night time. That's my target demographic. Thank you. People whose circadian rhythms are all mixed up. That's... Do you ever get so lonely you log into MyGov just to get a text? I just want to feel something in my pocket right now. That'd be just someone reaching out, that's all. Man, the only reason I make plans with a friend is because I'm paranoid they hate me. I'm like, hey man, you want to go to Grilled? They're like, yeah. I'm like, don't worry about it. I have all the information I need. We don't need to spend $30 on zucchini chips, shit. I just want to know you're still on board so I can watch TV alone. I'm mentally ill, obviously. I don't know if the subtext has trickled down and look, I meant to say my personality will leak out. The front row, you'll be able to smell prime numbers after this. I, I'm like the banana your mum packs in your lunchbox, permeates through, makes your sandwich taste like a boost juice. The ham and cheese taste tropical. Man, when I was growing up in the 90s, if you were going to be mentally ill, you had to be an absolute weirdo. You know, you had to have a trench coat and black eyeliner and be listening to The Cure. <laughs> now blokes can get it. It was supposed to be for nerds and women. It's cultural appropriation. <laughs> now football players are crying. It's not for you. It's a rip-off. It was supposed to be for people who start all their emails with sorry. <laughs> Get out of it. When I was growing up, I got bullied mercilessly for being a crybaby. Now it's the opposite. Be vulnerable, you soft cock. <laughs> Open up, let your demons out, let them dance, you're bottling them up, write a gratitude diary, you pussy, mean it. <laughs> you enjoy going to Nando's with Philip. Trying to destigmatise the black dog, your dog cunt. I was at Woolworths, I saw my high school bully, he had a neck tattoo of the number for Lifeline. He's like, oh, are you okay? Call it, open up, let him know about it. Now I'm sponsoring him for a mullets for mental health fun run? Because I didn't want to get a wedgie in the fresh food aisle? It's time to re-stigmatise mental health. I... We love a vulnerable bloke, a football player crying, because it's a charismatic contradiction. It's like a nimble fat guy, we're interested. <laughs> Haven't seen that combo in the simulation, that's an interesting <laughs> contrast. It's like an intellectual on a skateboard, ooh. I think the Mafia ate too many carbs to make good decisions, you know? They're eating spaghetti, garlic bread, cannolis, just custard wrapped in spaghetti. Then they're making life or death decisions. If I eat a cabanara at a restaurant, I have to lie down on the floor. I can't even deal with Netflix. These gindaloons have to decide whether to dangle Giuseppe off a bridge or stoop their goomba. <laughs> Running an organisation with your blood glucose fluctuating like the Nasdaq during a financial crisis. Are you out of your mind, Mario? <laughs> That's the only other Italian name I know, but I... Uh... <laughs> Terrorists, they're getting stuff done. Hijacking things, the Taliban takes over in a day. Because they're on hummus. Slow release lentils, okay? They're doing Ramadan. Intermittent fasting. Those guys were in ketosis when they stormed Fallujah. It's not even a real place, it's in Wizard of the Oz, but I have an acquired brain injury. I'm so fucked, my carer's got a carer. I don't know who's wiping who, you know? We're just hosing each other down on the driveway, having water bomb fights. I'd say it's a babushka doll, but I boycotted that metaphor. 
out of respect for the Ukraine. We've got some pro-Kremlin elements. Yeah, fuck, see, I've got an MRI penciled in for tomorrow. I have an aneurysm right now. Have you noticed the more genetic problems a dog has? Yeah, could we kill the rest of the crowd and 3D print that person? That'd be good there if we could... I don't know if we have the capabilities here to just gas everyone, but that was good. I, uh... Relatability for one, aisle three. But no, I, um... Yeah, you, you see a dog, like, more genetic problems it has, the fancier it is. I think it's in bad taste now to go around in a Ferrari. You know, you've got to be like, yeah, I can afford to keep a Pomeranian bulldog on life support. <laughs> Just staple your fucking vet bill to your head, we get it. I've got a litter of asthmatic pugs at home. I've got a, a Labradoodle on enough Prozac to save Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> I'm killing it. Do you think when aliens come and take over and keep us as pets, they'll be the same? They'll be like, fuck Chris Hemsworth, I want the guy with the sleep apnea mask. <laughs> See that guy in the mobility scooter with all the flags of the UN on it? That's mine, Trevor, he's a rescue. <laughs> he needs a machine to sleep, cunt, I'm killing it. I'm an alien oligarch in this bitch. I don't even need to pick up his shit, cause he's got a colostomy bag. on pear-shaped day. I can see the promoter taking cash out of my envelope. I, um... Man, my parents are always trying to get me to go to the theatre. You know, to see, like, Hamlet and King Lear. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good, eh? I can just get the train and see some meth head have the most hectic conversation on loudspeaker of Shakespearean levels of paranoia and drama. You tried to poison me, you fucking dog. I trusted you and you turned your back on me. He's holding a skull. It reminds me of my dad, you dog. It's a possum skull, but it's the same vibe. All that's missing is a spotlight and it's interactive theatre. He's with one of the witches from Macbeth, just whispering shit in his ear, geeing him up. Yeah, he did betray you. Yeah, stab him with a syringe. Instead of a cauldron, she's got a UE boom, just blasting Skrillex on the quiet carriage, making everyone uncomfortable. I'm the unofficial train DJ of this bitch. There's a guy headbutting a payphone. Why have you forsaken me? They should tap all payphones, record all the conversations, and release it as an audio book called Macbeth. That'll be some REM sleep. Thank you very much. Give yourselves an opportunity.